Hi everybody, welcome to Coffee Tea or Sex. Today we have a very special guest who's been here before, Destin Garrick, and we're gonna be talking about erotic superpowers. So to open this conversation, you just posted this online, and I would love for you to share this. Thank you. So just close your eyes, get comfortable in mm -hmm. a sexy position, and listen to this. There is a kind of sex that she is longing for that seems elusive. While you may fantasize about fucking her anally, or your favorite porn position, or coming across her tits, she fantasizes about overwhelming passion, feeling ravenously desired, having her soul penetrated by a man's gaze, being touched by expert hands that seem to know her body better than she knows it herself, her heart melting and her pussy on fire. She fantasizes about getting so turned on in her every cell of her body that she explodes into the most powerful orgasm she's ever had the moment she is penetrated with that very first thrust. So this is from my unfinished yeah. book, The Evolved Lover. Okay, so we can start the show now. <laughs> <laughs> so to be able to make love that way, mm. we must, you know, enhance or bring more tools mm. of erotica, of sensations, mm -hmm. of lovemaking. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of superpowers do you recommend to start? Because, <laughs> I mean, we clearly know that porn is not real. Mm. You know, it's overrated, it's so 80s. Like, <laughs> so we're, 80s. we're starting <laughs> like in, in a new path of discovery, of yeah. erotica, of sensu sensuality. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit about this. Um. Well, porn for the most part has has desensitized a lot of us, especially as men. Um, I know, like, I've been looking at porn since I was 11, and then, I mean, hardcore internet porn came about probably when I was in, or really became a thing when I was in college, but uh, when it, as soon as it was becoming a thing, it was becoming a thing in my life. <laughs> and so, uh, when, when we spend so many hours uh, across our lives as men, um, with all of our attention and awareness on the screen, while you know, generally a single hand is here and, and all of us are there, we become disconnected from our bodies. Sex is, becomes just this, this mental game and this fantasy. Because your attention is there, is not there here. And not, yeah, not in anything real. And so a starting point is getting more in touch with this body. Uh, a huge part of the phrase erotic superpowers actually didn't come from me. It, it came from a, a lover of mine who um, early on in our connect, she just like stopped. She's like, what are you doing? It's, it, I swear, it's, it's like you have a superpower or something. And you know, I, I've heard different versions of, of that so many times over the years. And I think the, the, the biggest piece really has come from just paying attention. If we want to really boil it down. It's, it's get out of the head, out of the fantasy, out of the ideas of sex, out of, out of the training that we've received of, of bigger, harder, faster, more, bigger, harder, faster, more. Which is exhausting. <laughs> that as well. <laughs> um, it, it's also numbing. How come that numbs? Like, how come people need, like, harder stimulations in order to feel and not the subtlety. Well, actually, I think it's the opposite. The, the harder we go, the harder we want. The, the softer we go, the more deliciousness that we can find there. And the one thing I found in exploring subtlety is that there are always new layers of nuances to be found. And I've gone so deeply into those layers of nuances that it appears to the women that I'm with as if it, as if I have some sort of superpower. That that how am I how am I knowing what she wants before she even realized she wanted it? As, uh, as uh, a recent lover of mine said, it's like she said, it's like you crawl inside of my mind, and it, all all it's really come down to is years of of paying attention to subtleties. Because the woman that you are with is always communicating with, 
the woman you are with is always <laughs> communicating with you, always. Sometimes she uses her words. Most of the time she's not. There is changes in facial expressions. The there's body. body language. There's sound, right? Cha sounds. It's like, there's touch changes my hand, in their touch sounds. Ah, mm. oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> there's changes in her sounds. There's yeah. changes in her breathing. And when you're that tuned in to her that you are noticing the little shifts in her breath, that's when you know that you're really paying attention. So Erotic superpowers, yeah. it's not about just my own pleasure, it's about tuning with the other person, yeah, you both, know? Both, both exactly. Yeah, it's because having such an awareness of yourself to expand beyond yourself to include the other. But without being the task like, oh, I'm going to make her calm five times, Great. right? Because yeah, then, then again, you're in your head again, and it's, this is just ego gratification. It's just like, I need her to come five times so that I feel like a real man. Uh, that's, that's not where real intimacy or real passion it's not, happens. And it's, I mean, it's horrible. Yeah. Like one time I made love with this guy, and he said like, oh my god, I, I'm so good. I give you like five orgasm. I was like, no, it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I'm orgasming on my own. Sure. So I didn't feel any connection. Yeah, it was yeah. like, okay, you can give me that. That wasn't giving me pleasure. Mm -hmm. Like for me, giving me pleasure is a man who's really there, like mm -hmm. you say, like who's really in tune what's yeah. what's happening in my body mm -hmm. and fulfilling that desire without the me, like even sharing it. So this comes to another piece of it, though, is really knowing himself, knowing his own body. Uh, another. Um, another one of my major teachings with the work that I do with men is m a sexual self-mastery. Mastering their, their own sexuality, their own sexual energy. With that comes, you know, fun things like being truly at choice over not only when you ejaculate, but even if you ejaculate, um, less as long as you want. Uh, experience full body orgasms versus just generally based sneezes. Achoo! <laughs> uh, even non-ejaculatory energetic orgasms or the holy grail of male multiple orgasms. Like all of, all of that and, and more is available to us as men and it's just not part of our larger cultural conversation. So present. you give the tools to men because usually men, let's say sexually, like they jerk off and that's it and maybe they use like two or three movements. So mm -hmm. you teach them like new ways to touch themselves, sure. new ways to orgasm, also. not just this orgasm. Yeah, like we, tuning with like energetics. Part of it as, well is as, as as men again, we tend to be so dick focused, which then of course we translate over to women as as well. It's like you're a it, dick. it's like we're well. <laughs> <laughs> and then the woman is like, yeah, you're a dick. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> where we can be so focused on on just like getting into her pussy, yeah. um, just touching her, her pussy, or maybe her, or maybe grabbing at your tits or your ass, My, I mean, which can you know again those parts of your body can give you great pleasure, but they actually give you even greater pleasure when the whole rest of your body is given attention as well. So, uh, yeah. talking about touch, now that you yeah. made that, right? <laughs> like, how can a man, you know, because this show is about men, how can a man start touching a woman, like yeah. understanding how a woman like to be touched? Because yeah, I've yeah. seen that, I've seen that with the boobs and with the clit, and, uh -huh. and sometimes it's rough and it's not nice and... Well, I think that it's, it's rooted in how we learn to touch ourselves and how men engage with other men with this same type of, of roughness. You know, I asked for your hand so that you, you spoke of, of um, how a woman likes to be touched. I mean, it's, I'm a big fan of bringing men's attention to, to s softness, subtlety, and slowness because most men don't have that part down. But then there are men who that's, you know, all their focus, in which case, you know, learn how to turn up the... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so Because okay. really what it comes down, down to, in my opinion, mo what most women really desire is range. You know, it's like that, that answer, what is it that a woman wants? It, the answer is quite simple. A woman wants everything. So, Thank you, and a man too, so, right? And so, uh, so being able to to bring that that full range, expanding your palette of pleasurable possibilities for yourself and for her. So you can practice in these more um, these safer areas of her body as well. So 
uh, you can do everything from the not even touching. These are different qualities of touch. So it's just like, like feeling the heat of her skin to when you do make that first physical contact, let her um, be intentional with your touch, with that first touch. So it's not just like, I'm grabbing you. It's like, let her, her feel you land. You can play with a light, finger-light touch across mm. her skin. Oh, that feels so nice. It, 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 you can find little, play, little hairs on different parts of her body and just see about stimulating them without even touching the skin itself. You can like drag your hand across her body. And notice also how I do a lot of long strokes and touches. Those Ooh. tend to be very nice as well. Yeah. And then of course you can squeeze. But even there, it's not, it, it's feel what you're feeling. You can feel the musculature and how it responds underneath the, the hands. There, you can run your fingernails across the body back is different than front. There's so many ways that you can explore the body and create touch. And even that, like with, with that, I am giving her sensation on her hand while also enjoying her touch on mine as well and giving her the opportunity to enjoy the feeling of that touching and stroking <laughs> and <laughs> touching and stroking my body. So there's so much that can be done. And this is really beautiful because, I mean, sometimes I feel like a woman like men enter like really harshly into yeah. into your space right mm -hmm. so i like the idea of like entering slowly slowing it down and then retiring like what you did right now i didn't feel abandoned it was like mm -hmm. sweet it was nice it, it was mm -hmm. like a nice movement mm -hmm. because it, i feel in erotica you know, like men with women, sometimes it's like, boom, and then when, they, then when they penetrate and then they go out like, boom, you know, and they yeah, disappear totally. and you're like, what, what happened? <laughs> so, so paying attention to that first touch and paying attention to that last touch. Uh, creating openings and closings. So that's the most important thing for like a superpower, erotic superpower, oh. or can you give us well, there are places. A little, a little there, are more. Pla there are places to touch on the body. There are ways of touching the body. But as I say, like the the this, the starting place actually isn't even here. Because even when I did this, I was doing something else that I wasn't speaking of, which is here. Making that that not only making eye contact, which for some men really making and holding eye contact with a woman that they're attracted to can be a really big deal. Because they say it's very intimate. Ah, oh, huh. <laughs> so what's the, what's the fear around yeah. that? Like right now we're looking at each other, we're yeah. eye gazing, I'm talking to you, sure. but I'm feeling you at the same time. What's the fear around this connection? Well, being felt, you know, there's being vulnerable. As men, we're taught we're not supposed to be vulnerable. Being vulnerable is like a bad word. And, uh, but the truth is there's just such power in vulnerability. And it's very sexy for a woman. Yeah. Vulnerability, of course. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm a big fan of this phrase I call powerful vulnerability. Uh, vulnerability, I think, too often has a uh, bad connotation for men. But there's so much, there's actually, it, it's twofold. One, there, when you drop into a place of vulnerability, it can be a very powerful experience for the, the person that's experiencing your vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And two, it takes a certain power within you as a man to allow yourself to be vulnerable because the, the fear, there's some unconscious fear of annihilation of death essentially with that vulnerability. So it's like, and it's, it's a willingness to expose yourself and knowing that you're strong enough to survive it. Mm. You know, it's, it's a very powerful act. So the erotic superpowers yes. are just not, thank you, that felt really nice holding your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Felt nice for me so as well. it, it's it's not really about techniques yes, about also. yeah I, 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 I mean they're all sorts of demonstrations I don't know what kind of TV show this is <laughs> okay yeah no but but what I mean is like sometimes we we have if we if we talk about erotica we yes. automatically think about what we've seen sure. and this is more mm. about 
the subtlety and yeah. also, I mean, but the, the techniques with with another approach. Very different approach. Not goal oriented, One, Well, that's, right? that's a big piece of it. It's, part of it is shifting the goal. Instead of that goal of how quick can I get in there to, you like how I point right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm like. How, how quick can, <laughs> so this is, this is actually an image from the uh, online program that I developed, eroticsuperpowers.com. Yes, that is Ooh, me. Ooh, nice butt. Um, uh, it's uh, <laughs> Phoenix, lover, and uh, my cohort in, this, in the training. Um, that we can get so focused on first getting in there and then secondly either making you come or or my own orgasm and so instead we only get one first penetration and so i really encourage men to play with how long instead of how quickly can we get there, how long can we drag that out? How much juice can you squeeze out of every moment of that experience? Like building up that. Build it up, build it up, build it yeah, up, build it up. Yeah, that deliciousness. There's sexual tension. Learn how to create sexual tension and, mm. and stretch that sexual tension. I think one of the reasons why women can be, you know, play so much on the defensive isn't even because they're a no, but because they want to experience that tension. And if you're not going to give it to them, they have to create it. And that sense of feeling desired. Mm -hmm. So how can we create sexual tension? I like flipping the script entirely. I don't, by that I mean, instead of you as a woman being the sexual gatekeeper, and my role is to, uh, is to break down your defenses and get in there somehow, um, I want to play sexual gatekeeper. To be so, have such mastery over my sexual energy, to have such a confidence in knowing this that I know where we're going. I want it. We'll get there. I'll decide when. And until then, I'm going to just keep turning you on and turning you on and turning you on until it's not just that you let me, it's that you're begging me for it. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But that's missing. Just taking that on, just yeah. like playing with, you know, you're, well, yes, I've developed a whole host of uh, tools and methods to help to you get there. To be able to get there. Nonetheless, just but that's the, having that's that idea in your, in your head changes the game. It changes the game. But I think that's what's lacking in sexuality, mm. you know, because, you know, okay, penetration, it's just this, but yeah. it's all about like, creating that tension, learning to mm -hmm. pleasure each other, self-pleasuring sure. yourself, taking your time, taking it slow. Mm -hmm. Because also I feel with the times right now, it's like people have sex, okay, we have 10 minutes, let's go, boom, boom, boom. And they don't really give themselves the joy of spending a good amount of time with their lovers or partners mm -hmm. and taking this journey mm -hmm. through the really journey, the, journey the, the journey of journey erotica. So, so friggin' delicious, you know, and, and finding the enjoyment in that deliciousness, in that, in that tension, not just that you're doing it for her, but find the pleasure in it. Well, I mean, one of the reasons why I'm so good at it is because I friggin' love it. <laughs> and you've been practicing a lot. I've been practicing for years. <laughs> yeah, because that's the other thing. It's not about reading technique books. Yeah. It's really experience and experiencing that first within your body, right? Because yeah. if I don't know how to touch myself, uh, sure how I'm going to learn to tune into that or know what I really want, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so practice and be, be willing to get it wrong. It's uh, only through that, that willingness to get it wrong can you ever find the, what is right, you know, what does work for, for you. A lot of men feel frustrated because, oh my God, I, I, we've been having sex for a while and I can't come. Or, you know, oh, I didn't have, like, I didn't ejaculate it. Oh, or you didn't come. I feel guilty. So, so what's, what's up with that? How can we, because that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, sure. And, and that's a lot of frustration. Of and sex yeah. and erotica is supposed to be fun and yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Well, one, you know, this gets the, the, we sort of laid attention to two different things. There's him not not being able to come and there's you know her not being able to come um statistics are just showing that more and more uh men at younger and younger ages are are 
being, you know, having challenges like that, uh, whether it's coming or even getting and maintaining an erection. And, you know, the, the general, it generally looks like it's from, you know, we're so inundated with porn and a particular way in which we're, we're putting this into our unconsciousness and particular intensity with which we stimulate ourselves and, and fine tuning to very particular acts or, or, um, you know, niche that we're into, that then suddenly when uh, a lot of men these days are finding that when they're actually with a woman, they, they are having a hard time having the same type of sexual experience that they desire. Because they're in their fantasy or? They're in their fantasy, they can also numb themselves. Uh, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you have trained your body, which if, you know, your, your masturbation is part of training your body, is in a very particular way all of the time all the time and that and it particularly if that is the majority of your sexual experiences then what is it what do you think is going to happen when you're suddenly like in a different you know with a woman your body knows one thing so this is again getting back to the expanding your palette uh, of pleasurable possibilities you you need to be able to to let everything go just practice something new, whatever that is, whether it's the practice on your own of, of um, stimulating yourself without porn, touching yourself in new ways, doing anything other than what you do. Most men have, um, this, is how, this is how they masturbate, period. Yeah. Oftentimes they've been doing it the same way for years, decades, since they were you know, an adolescent or younger. So letting go of that fear to experience new things, oh, yeah, even yeah. if they don't work at that moment. Well, but with practice uh, comes it, mastery, it, it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll agree with all of that and say that um, sometimes the process of letting go of that fear is to feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah, it's, it's like, okay, I'm not feeling anything. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to touch myself in a different way. Sure. sure. And, and, and then as far as uh, the frustration with not coming or her not coming, again, this is where we get very, um, sex is about coming. And I, there's sort of a... A, an evolution in from it's just being about his orgasm to now it you know it's being about her orgasm too but but still it, it's it's very directive it's like the only reason for the sex is for that orgasm or orgasms and it's like orgasms are great don't get me wrong I love orgasms both mine and hers um, and you know, you can have incredibly powerful, incredibly intimate, incredibly passionate, incredibly fulfilling sexual experiences even with no orgasms. And conversely, you can have sexual experiences with orgasms that were okay. You know, they were just like, no, yeah, that's okay. Whatever. Yeah. So, and uh, just to finish the program, <laughs> like and make a little resume, like which are like the top points mm. to be able to unleash uh, our erotic superpower. Mm. <laughs> well, there is that combo of getting in touch with both your primal animalistic <laughs> fuck energy yeah. and uh, as well as the subtlety, softness, energetic components of of one sexuality and being and practicing playing with that entire range and even being able to move across that entire range in seconds so that that that's one powerful journey and that's fun yeah, that, that so sounds like fun, fun. And, and the other uh, uh, another huge thing to leave with is simply pay attention it, particularly if you as a man get stuck in your head a lot when it comes to sex you usually, uh, cons in some aspect of your own con fears, your own concerns, your own things, so put your focus, your attention on her. Pay attention for all the little communications, the little subtleties that, that, that if every moment there is a communication, the practice is in recognizing what the communication is as well as what it means. Mm. And again, I go in, I, I help define those things and help point to those things through erotic superpowers. That's amazing. Yeah. So they can find all the information about erotic superpowers in your website. Uh, well, but most directly at eroticsuperpowers.com. And that's the Garrick. And dot com com. You got <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for being here. Always it's always so much fun. I really yeah. appreciate what you're doing, supporting so many men mm. to unleash their power to be powerful, be sexually 
Amazing. Be the best lover she's ever had. It's yeah, most, most one thank you. Can Keep working, man. Please call. <laughs> Please call Destin. And if you want more information, we also have a Facebook page, Coffee, Tea, or Sex. So remember to have it every morning and every night. Thank you again, Destin. Oh, see you, you soon, hopefully. I look forward to it. And see you guys next week. And don't forget to play in it slow and softy. Mm -hmm.